Step number two, effective efficiency. When we are efficient, it means that we can do the best job possible in the least amount of time. The first thing that you need to know is how long a task will take to accomplish. Then you need to figure out if you can decrease that time without diminishing the quality of your work. It's not enough for you to just schedule. You need to ensure that you are precise about the time a task actually takes. Keep careful track of how long specific actions take and work towards decreasing the time you spend without diminishing the quality of your work. Step number three, present focus. The greatest enemy of your productivity is a distraction. In today's always-on-the-go world, the ability to remain attentive seems almost impossible. You might be able to schedule your time efficiently, but still lose out on getting more done because your mind drifts or other distractions pull you away from your work. You will increase your productivity if you can learn how to stay in the now and in the present. Three steps for getting more done. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you three steps that you can take to start getting more done in less time. When it comes to being productive, everyone wishes they were able to get more done in less time. If you are struggling with a lack of productivity, you can follow these three steps for getting more done. Step number one, obligation scheduling. Unfortunately, if you want to get more done, you have to do more than just mentally planning for it. You have to schedule what you are going to do and when you are going to do it. If you want to get more done, then you have to make an appointment with yourself and keep it as if it were a dinner with your boss. All too often, we create schedules with the mindset of what we want to complete rather than what we must achieve. When you do this, your brain sees the event as optional instead of mandatory. When you can shift to a mindset of obligation, you give more weight to the tasks, which will create a greater necessity. Step number two, effective efficiency. When we are efficient, it means that we can do the best job possible in the least amount of time. The first thing that you need to know is how long a task will take to accomplish. Then you need to figure out if you can decrease that time without diminishing the quality of your work. It's not enough for you to just schedule. You need to ensure that you are precise about the time a task actually takes. Keep careful track of how long specific actions take and work towards decreasing the time you spend without diminishing the quality of your work. Step number three, present focus. The greatest enemy of your productivity is a distraction. In today's always on the go world, the ability to remain attentive seems almost impossible. You might be able to schedule your time efficiently, but still lose out on getting more done because your mind drifts or other distractions pull you away from your work. You will increase your productivity if you can learn how to stay in the now and in the present. Increasing your personal productivity doesn't require extensive plans and steps. By following these three simple steps, you'll be able to increase your productivity to get more done in less time. In today's presentation, I'm going to share with you three ways you can increase your business productivity. There are only so many hours in a day. This makes making the most of your time critical. There are only two ways that you can increase your output. Either put in more extended hours or learn how to work smarter. Being more productive doesn't take an advanced degree in psychology, but it does require you to be more deliberate in how you are managing your time. Here are three ways that you can increase your business productivity and get more done. Track how much time you're spending on tasks. While you may believe that you are good at gauging how much time you spend working on various tasks, research suggests that only 17% of people are able to estimate the passage of time accurately. If you want to be more productive, then you have to have a solid idea of how much time each task is taking. You can use a tool like Rescue Time to help you track exactly how much time you are spending on daily tasks, including email, word processing, social media, and apps. Follow the two-minute rule. To make the most of small windows of time that you have during your day, try implementing the two-minute rule. The idea behind the two-minute rule is that if you see a task that you know can be done in two minutes or less, do it right away. Completing these types of functions immediately takes less time than having to go back to it later. So utilize your short windows at work with the two-minute rule and watch your productivity increase tenfold. Be proactive, not reactive. When you allow incoming emails and calls to dictate how to spend your day, you'll end up getting great at putting out fires, but it might be the only thing that you accomplish all day. Determine a time during your day when you can spend time responding to emails but don't let it determine what kind of day you're going to have. 
If you want to increase your productivity, you need to have a plan of attack at the beginning of each day, and then do your best to stick with that plan. If you feel like you need to increase your productivity, it's best to resist the temptation to put in more extended hours. Instead, take a step back and consider how you can work smarter to accomplish your tasks in less time. In this tutorial, I'm going to share with you the four daily habits that will dramatically increase your productivity. Everyone wants to get more done and feel a more substantial sense of accomplishment at the end of the day. While there are a million different tips for increasing your productivity, here are the four daily habits that you can incorporate into your day that will dramatically improve your productivity. Plan your day the night before. If you spend 15 minutes before you go to sleep creating your to-do list and prioritizing it, you'll have a substantial head start on your day when you roll out of bed the next morning. After you create your to-do list, decide which tasks are the most important for you to complete and put a star next to them. This will remind you that these are the tasks that you must complete to push you forward with achieving your big goals. Leave the office for lunch. Leaving the office for lunch may seem like something so small, but it can have a strong effect on how you work for the rest of the day. Getting out of your work environment for an hour during lunch can reduce stress levels, help you refocus, and refresh your creativity. Consider taking a short walk during this time to clear your head and think about how you will want to tackle the rest of your day. Minimize distractions. Distractions are everywhere, and they are pulling at your attention and decreasing your productivity. If you work on a computer, there is the temptation to surf the Internet and check your social media, among other things. When it's time for you to work, work. If you have to close your door and put up a Do Not Disturb sign on your door to discourage coworkers stopping by and chatting, do it. Set boundaries and try to abide by them. Keep your goals in sight. Once you set your goals, keep them in sight at all times. You want to keep your goals written down in a place where you will end up seeing them many times throughout the day. When you glance at your goals, your motivation levels to get things done will dramatically increase. When it comes to increasing your productivity, you want to try to beat the person that you were the day before. Take the time to keep track of your results and work every day to be the most productive individual that you can be. In this presentation, I'm going to provide you with five tips for getting more done in less time. Everyone has the same 24 hours in a day to get things done. So why is it that there are people in our lives who seem to get more accomplished than we do? It might be because they know that it isn't the time you have that counts but rather how you are using that time. Here are five tips for getting more done in less time. Tip number one, do a weekly brain dump. Performing a brain dump will allow you to get everything out of your mind and down on paper so you can finally let it go. To do a brain dump, take a piece of paper and a pen and write down everything that you need to get done. Once you've gotten everything, no matter how big or small, down on paper, let it go. Tip number two, prioritize. Everyone can fall prey to distraction. With all the things that are screaming for our attention, it is relatively easy to get sidetracked. You need to reel in your focus and put it back where it belongs. Take some time to look at your list from tip number one and highlight the tasks that need to get done now with another color. Highlight items that need to be completed soon and with a third color, highlight tasks that need to be completed eventually. Tip number three, make a daily list. The key to creating a successful list and increasing your productivity is to keep it doable. You need to create a list that's realistic, and it will fit into your time constraints of your day. Take a look at your list from the previous tip and pick your top three most important items that need to be done now. Then do this with the other two categories. Tip number four, focus on completing your list. Now that you've decided on your top nine items, you need to make this list your priority and focus on it every day. Start with the most important things to ensure that they get completed. Always keeping your focus on your list is the key to increasing your productivity. Tip number five, eliminate distractions. Email, phone calls, and social media are all distractions that can keep you from accomplishing your to-do list. To get more done in less time, you have to turn off all distractions. Accomplishing more in less time doesn't have to be difficult. Incorporate these five tips into your daily routine, and you'll start to become more productive. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you five ways that you can use technology to increase your productivity. Since 2007, when the modern-day smartphones started to rise in prominence, productivity in the workplace has steadily declined. While you might think that banning technology will increase productivity, the truth is that with some effort and discipline, 
The same tech can help you complete tasks faster and with less energy. Here are five ways that technology can help improve your productivity. Incorporate automation tools. Find the tools that will allow you to automate everything. Some apps will automate everything from scheduling and bill pay to updating your contact list and sending out email responses. Many apps these days will also provide you with a way to digitize many manual processes like making lists. Effectively manage passwords. Passwords are being phased out and replaced by biometric authentication. Until applications provide seamless biometric authentication, the management of your passwords is essential. Reissuing and resetting passwords can be costly, both financially and operationally. To avoid this, you can use a password management tool that can help you manage your login credentials across all of your devices. Use Chrome extensions. Adding tools to your Chrome browser will allow you to access them much quicker. LastPass will save and remember all of your passwords to every website you log into, which can save you a considerable amount of time and significantly increase your productivity. Use a calendar app. Calendars are one of the most underutilized productivity tools you can use. Reminders work well with proper planning. Once you have your week entered into your calendar, your productivity has some rails to guide. Utilizing a calendar for your daily and weekly tasks will help you keep on track and decrease the amount of time you are spending doing non-necessary tasks. Take advantage of free applications. Taking advantage of free applications can ultimately make your life more productive. Here are some examples that could have an impact on your life. Mobile grocery ordering and pickup, application-based scheduling, and mobile home electronic monitoring. Utilizing technological tools like some of the above mentioned can help you save more time throughout your day. Consider these five ways to use technology to increase your productivity and get more done in less time. Six habits that will kill your productivity. Engaging and maintaining productivity is challenging for most people, especially when the worst distractions are just a mouse click away. Many bad habits can quickly kill your productivity that you may not even be aware that you have. Fortunately, with a little awareness and quick action, you can get your productivity back on track. Here are six habits that will quickly kill your productivity. Multitasking. Of all the bad habits that you can have, multitasking is one of the worst and also one of the most common. Multitasking tricks you into producing subpar, incomplete work on a daily basis. When you multitask, you aren't doing multiple tasks at the same time, but instead, you are giving partial focus to a single task while providing the majority of your attention to the actual act of switching functions. Not having a work routine. If you get into the habit of working whenever you feel like it, you're setting yourself up for failure. Having a work routine is essential for getting your mind into productive gear. Without a method, you are always going into work mode cold, which can make getting into the zone that much harder. Being a perfectionist. Another common productivity kill is perfectionism. Having unrealistic work standards and being thrown off balance when things don't go as you like can quickly ruin your productivity. When you set unrealistic work standards, you never complete tasks, which causes you to fall behind. When things don't go as expected, it's easy to mentally quit, leading you to put in less effort to complete tasks. Having a giant to-do list. When you sit down to plan your day, it can be easy to get overzealous and fill up your to-do list with more than a dozen tasks. Unfortunately, you most likely won't be able to complete all of them and will become overwhelmed at all the functions you weren't able to finish. Saying yes all the time. You may believe that saying yes to every little thing people ask you to do is a good thing, but you're doing yourself a great disservice. When you say yes to everything, you limit the amount of time you have to spend on completing your tasks. Not automating recurring tasks. Many of the tasks that you complete daily are repeat tasks, which are tasks that we do on a regular basis. Most of these tasks can be automated so that it can be done automatically and more quickly. Automating reoccurring tasks will not only save you time, but your mental resources as well. These are just a few of the many bad habits that can quickly kill your productivity. When you become aware of these habits, you can easily overcome them and get your productivity back on track. In this presentation, I'm going to share with you the six rules for accomplishing more while working less. Too many people believe that the only way they can achieve more and be more successful is by putting in more hours. However, that isn't always the case. It isn't easy to work less and achieve more, but these six rules can help you do just that. The 80-20 rule. 
This rule suggests that a small amount of inputs contributes to a much more substantial amount of outputs. To utilize this rule in your daily schedule, you need to minimize the time that you spend in the unproductive 80%, meaning you have to cut the time that you spend on tasks that contribute very little to achieving your goals. Parkinson's Law The idea behind Parkinson's Law is that work will fill the time that is available for its completion. This is a side effect when you focus on doing work rather than completing projects. Set strict deadlines for yourself and cultivate your desire to finish projects. Energy Management As opposed to time management, energy management forces you to think of your results as a function of energy and not as time invested. You can accomplish more by working intensely for a short time than you can working for days distracted and tired. Only use sharp tools. Don't waste your time working on things that you don't intend to excel at. Delegate them to someone else. For the things that you do not want to master, make it your priority to sharpen your tool beyond what is necessary to get the job done. Rule with numbers. One of the biggest wastes of your time is assumptions. When your intuitions about the world around you don't match the way it looks, you will never be efficient. The only way you can test false assumptions is to test them and follow it up with numbers. The results of the test can end up saving you hundreds of hours if it shows that your current process doesn't have an impact or suggests a faster alternative. The Marginal Rule of Quality Perfectionists never finish projects, but those who are sloppy are always having to make corrections because they've wasted too much time. Instead, you need to learn to stop working on tasks when the extra input you invest exceeds the output gained. Incorporating these six rules into your routine can dramatically increase your productivity so you can start accomplishing more in less time. In this presentation, I'm going to show you how you can become more productive so you can achieve your goals. Everyone, no matter who you are or where you work, would like to be more productive. The search for increased productivity has led to the misconception that being productive means checking items off your to-do list. If you want to be more productive, you have to make a point to do fewer things. Here are things you can do to become more productive. Cut your to-do list in half. Getting things done throughout the day shouldn't mean trying to fit as much as possible into eight hours. Take a less is more approach to your tasks by focusing on accomplishing only the things that really matter. Take more breaks. If you start to get an ache in your brain after several long hours of work, it's a sign that you need to take a break. When your mind uses up its store of glucose, you need to give yourself a moment to refresh. Taking short breaks will allow you to come back to your work recharged and ready to be more efficient. Focus on yourself in the morning. Checking your email and your schedule in the morning is a huge productivity killer. Doing this gives others the ability to dictate what you accomplish throughout the day. Ignore your emails in the morning and take some time for yourself. This ensures that you have the necessary fuel to get through your day. Complete challenging tasks first. Work to complete your most challenging work when your brain is the freshest. If you have meetings or busy work that you need to complete, save them for the afternoon. When you can schedule your day in this manner, you're able to create a more productive way to manage your time. Stop multitasking. Stop trying to complete a million things at once. Switching tasks more than 10 times a day will drop your IQ an average of 10 points. Be more efficient and get more done by focusing on a single job at a time. Create a system. Manage your distractions by creating a system for work. If you compulsively check emails, plan a morning, afternoon, and evening period to manage your inbox to avoid getting distracted from accomplishing more important goals throughout your day. When it comes to being productive, less is more. Stick to the basics and you'll find you can get more done in less time. In this presentation, I'm going to show you how to use Parkinson's Law to get more done. If you don't know, Parkinson's Law is the idea that the more time we dedicate to a specific task, the longer it will take to complete. By applying Parkinson's Law in a few different ways, you can get your to-do list completed quicker and spend less of your days filling in time just to look busy. Start a running against the clock. Start by making a list of the tasks that you need to complete and divide them by the amount of time it will take you to achieve them. Then give yourself half the time to complete the tasks. For this to work, you need to see that making a time limit is crucial. You need to treat it like any other deadline and see them as unbreakable. Consolidate for time fillers. Be on the lookout for the little time fillers like email and social media and cut down the time that you are spending working on them. If you usually end up spending 30 minutes responding to emails, 
start giving yourself only five minutes to do the task. Don't give these little tasks any more time until you've completed everything on your to-do list. Take frequent breaks. To fully utilize Parkinson's law to increase your productivity, start taking frequent breaks. Because of the nature of the concentrated effort you are asking yourself to perform, without frequent breaks, your brain gets tired and starts to shut down and unable to function in the same way. You will only be able to increase your productivity by learning when to stop and being able to step away. Transforming your work and becoming more productive doesn't just happen. It takes a plan and a support system to be successful. Understanding the idea behind Parkinson's Law and adjusting your work to stick to it and fully utilize it, you will start to see a substantial increase to your productivity. In this presentation, I'm going to present to you with the top five productivity hacks for procrastinators. We've all been there at some point. We have a list of things to do, but find ourselves doing anything but what we should be doing. Fortunately, procrastination is nothing more than a mindset that can be changed. Surround yourself with red and blue. Take the time to clean your desk, removing anything that might be a distraction. According to recent studies on which colors improve brain performance, blue sparks creativity, while it is shown that red helps to increase attention to details. Surrounding yourself with these colors will not only benefit your brain, but they're also pleasing to the eyes. Create a schedule for your tasks. Like any other habit, procrastination is a difficult wall to break. To eliminate your procrastination habit, you need to replace it with another pattern. Moving forward, when you are assigned a task, set a schedule for each step. Giving yourself deadlines is the best way to get more done. Setting specific times to finish tasks creates a time pressure, even if the deadline is already passed. Consider going gadget-free. According to a recent study conducted by Kleiner, Perkins, Caulfield, and Byers, average people check their phones up to 150 times a day. When your phone is just a short reach away, it can add to this habit. Keeping your mobile phones and other devices away from your desk will allow you to work without constant interruption. It will eliminate the distraction and the urge to unlock your phone. Prepare the night before. Before you turn in for the night, get everything that you need for the next day prepared. This should take you no more than 15 minutes, saving you time in the morning to have a second cup of coffee and not have to waste your time in the morning getting everything together. Set up mini tasks. If you are working on a big project, break it down into several mini tasks. Create a checklist and begin working on the easy ones until you've finished. Accomplishing everything, no matter how small, will give you the sense of fulfillment to keep you motivated. Increasing your productivity when you are a born procrastinator can be a challenge. However, with these five simple productivity hacks, you'll find you can get more done in less time and finally accomplish your goals.